I knew that we wouldn't have long. That wasn't the point. Honeywish almost spat the words, but her voice choked as she spoke, and the mask of anger she had on shattered, the grief in her voice and eyes painfully obvious. Her shoulders were slumped, and she looked away, fixing her gaze to the darkened shadows of the bushes around the clearing. Doge stepped forward and lifted her head inquiringly, but Honeywish shook her head, her ears twitching. No, I'm... I'm going to be fine. This just isn't... The pregnant she-cat sighed again and stared down at her paws. Her belly was round and large with the kit she was expecting, and the weight of them slowed her down, tethering her in place like a heavy bundle of stones wrapped around her waist. The sensation was unfamiliar and not exactly bad, but if she wasn't so heavy with kits, perhaps she would have been able to move through the forest and out onto the thunder paths to follow the monsters and... Honeywish glanced up and caught Dogaze's worried expression. She huffed and looked away, her fur bristling along her neck. As if the medicine cat couldn't make it any more obvious that the clan was worried Honeywish would try to run off and find Silver Fang, even with her kits due at any moment. Another ripple of grief and anger spread across her, and Honeywish forced herself to breathe slowly, closing her eyes as the emotion swept over her. We knew we wouldn't have long. He had already lived through so much, Honeywish repeated, her voice quiet. And that was never the point, having a long time together. The point was just that I loved him. He listened. He just... He was a good cat. Somehow, it was not easy to be angry around him. I mean, who could be angry around him? Hanuish let out a breathless laugh, shaking her head at the thought. And he wasn't confused. He knew who he was and had a clear idea of what life would be here in the wild, and he believed in this clan. He believed in the work I did to make this a place where we would be safe. Honeywish choked on the word, the memory of the two-leg invader stomping into camp, terrifying her, terrifying the kits, the way Silverfang had slipped in and taken control while she had been stunned with the shock at the two-leg's appearance the way he had led the two-leg and its danger away, and never returned. Honeywish let out another pained gasp and turned her head away, her whole body trembling. I knew we wouldn't have long together, but I thought we'd at least have longer than this. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Warrior Cats Challenge, here in Sims 3, with all expansion packs and quite a bit of custom content. And we are here at Moss Clan, getting ready to celebrate the many, many, many delicious fresh kill items that we have from the Greenleaf Summer Hunt that the cats have enjoyed. So to celebrate the fact that Oak Paw is about to become a warrior, and the fact that Robin Kit, who is right here playing with a ball of moss, and uh, Red Kit are about to to turn into full-fledged apprentices. Look at her. She's like, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. Oh, Robin Kit, you are so beautiful. But to celebrate the fact that we have cats growing up and that we're trying to give her... Oh, look at this. Oh, go for it. Go for it, Lion Star. You've got it. You've got it. Go, You go get that little um, cardinal. Oh, man. Think of all the feathers that he could get for Robin Kit if he catches this little guy. Oh, my gosh. That would be so nice. But yeah, to celebrate, just... The fact that good things are happening to Moss Clan, we are getting ready to have a big harvest where all of the cats can come together and we're going to go through everything that they caught last time and see who was our best hunter and we're going to see who managed to catch the most of what and if Tommy, did Tommy ever manage to get anything more than his little gecko? I don't think he did. Tommy, what are you doing? Oh, pardon me. Oh, wait, you can't drink anything right now, Tommy. Hang on. We're about to have a big feast. Just hang on. We're going to have a big feast, put all the, the prey items in where Moss Leaf is sound asleep in the prey pot. But yeah, a lot of things have happened to Moss Clan recently. We've actually gone through quite a bit. Not only were there these star stones that fall from the sky that started the forest fire that ended up destroying huge portions of camp. I mean, if you look at it from above, like half of camp was destroyed when that happened. And Lion Star lost a life as a result. Crowfeather was injured and in trade for a branch clan coming and helping Moss Clan to recover from the shock of everything. What the heck is that? What are you? I think that Robin Kit, who is so curious. Oh my gosh, look at the size of him. He's like a staghorn beetle. I think Robin Kit would come try to collect this guy. 
because he looks so fascinating and Robin Kit is very much into anything that looks like it could be used for medical items because she takes it over to Doge's just in case you guys can't get any stronger hints at who she's probably going to be working with. I mean, look, Doge's is coming over to check on her. Come on. Look at that. Look at that. But yes, so yeah, the, the clan's gone through a lot. They also, like at the time, Lizard Paw went into a bit of a coma. It looks like he's sound asleep next to his big tree where he probably finds a lot of comfort right now too. Lionstar caught the cardinal, huzzah! But yeah, Lizard Paw went into his coma and we weren't sure if he was going to awaken. The spirit of the land kind of went into shock because of the forest fire and the star stones that fell from the sky. A lot of the cats were injured, like Crowfeather ended up leaving for Branch Clan and we don't know if he's still going to stay with Branch Clan because then he ended up having kits in Branch Clan, which was totally outside of my control so that was very exciting just so many things have happened and as you guys noticed it's just drama after drama after drama for poor moss clan and i am done with them having to deal with that much drama for a little while so if i can provide them some joy with being able to have all of the cats kind of come together and meet let's go ahead and socialize robin kit robin kit's off to try to catch her thing and then, oh, be pounced on. Uh, now is not the time to pounce on someone, Briarstock. Someone who is expecting kits. I think that Honeywish might come over and she might say something to Mossleaf. Like, hey, we're supposed to start the feast soon. What are you doing? So I think she might come over and say something to Mossleaf about that. And Tommy's just freaking out in the background. But yeah, for as long as we're able to, we're going to try to let Moss Clan have a bit of a break and enjoy enjoy life before the game starts throwing more things at us and who knows what that's going to be so all right honey wish is waking mossleaf up because she's probably like hey you're in the way oh no mossleaf why do you have fleas Ugh! and we'll have to use one of the rodents that we have caught to cure mossleaf of those fleas but enough rambling enough rambling let's go ahead we're going to see what the various cats of the clan caught and we're going to fill up the prey pile and we're going to get ready for this celebration and ready for oak paw to be able to celebrate the fact that he's probably going to earn his warrior name tonight because that's kind of what he is father and Briarstock have been heavily hinting at all right so first up we have mossleaf she actually did a little bit of fishing she can no longer really hear she her hearing was significantly damaged when the star stones fell from the sky so she can't really do any hunting where she has to go off into the underbrush and like hear the rustling of the leaves but she's able to do quite a bit of hunting over at the little pond that we have over here all of the other little ponds that we used to have to hunt at dried up during the forest fire and this little pond is proving to be quite unsatisfactory because she managed to get crocodiles alley catfish and a ton of starfish throwing my hands up in the air starfish from this little pond who knows why so and none of the cats really want to try to go fishing in this thing because this is where like the meteor fell and i'm pretty sure we're gonna have something special happen related to the meteor and the meteor like water excuse me starstone water <laughs> oh my goodness so none of the cats really want to go fishing over there we do have a little pond over here but it's mostly mud and so i think the cats are going to start wandering over this way because they had a taste for fish from all of the fish that crow feather was bringing to them and they have learned a little bit on how to fish because Crowfeather was teaching them how to... F What's this? Hello? There's a stray dog over here! <gasps> we'll have to watch out! Okay, so there's a stray dog over here. We'll have to watch out for that. Um, goodness gracious. And so it looks like the scent of dog that Lionstar sniffed over here was worth it. My gosh. Is there any... Are there any other strays over here? Because this is supposed to be Moss Clan territory. We just haven't really used it yet. Um, no. Oh my gosh, what the heck? What? Why are there stray dogs everywhere? What? Willow, why, are, why is there a stray cat over here? Oh my gosh. And there's a stray dog over here too. Why are there so many strays? Oh my gosh, Willow. Are you trying to protect this cat? Okay. Okay. We're going to have to deal with that in just a second. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hang on, you guys. I can't believe there's so many dogs. Ah. All right. So we're going to we're gonna empty out the inventories really quickly. And then we are going to go deal with that dog. And we're going to see if we can get that stray cat over here with us. Oh, my gosh. So hang in there, you guys. A shark. Why is there a shark in the forest? Some sort of tiny, puny forest shark. I just don't even... I don't even know. All right. Anyway. Alley catfish. And then we have a whole bunch of items to give to Dogaze. I don't think any of the cats would know what to do with starfish. Right now, that's probably only knowledge that Bearglow has of how to use starfish to help with bones or like fractures, uh, torn claws, things like that. Anything that you might need calcium or bones for, starfish is good for. 
And again, I really need to go through and put these things. I'm thinking about making a wiki. What do you guys think about that? A wiki where I am the admin of the wiki. I know a couple people have already made different wikias for a Warrior Cat series, but I'm thinking about making a wiki like I made No Man's Sky wiki. And hang on, I just have to tell you guys this because I need to hear your guys' ideas. Um, but I'm thinking about doing that because I have so much to do and so much going on all the time. I just cannot keep up with being able to update the Pixel Biology library as much as I wish we could. So I'm thinking about making a wiki and then I could do shout outs for people who really contribute to it. I could set achievements. I could give you guys rewards like being able to name a kit for instance um, or being able to name like one of the stray cats that we would add into the world. So I'm thinking about making a wiki to reward community members who would help to fill it out with all of the information about the cats and episode summaries and things like that. And I would be admin of it so I would create it so that I have full control over it. But do you guys think uh, we could trust the community enough to do that. Do you guys think that given the history of Warrior Cats being a little bit chaotic as it is, I want to trust you guys and I want to make that and then reward those of you who help out with it so that we can have more information for our cats. We can have places where if you guys wanted to host the challenge, you could go, oh yeah, that's starfish. That's really good for using for bones. Or yeah, hibiscus flowers. And then there would be links to where you can go download the hibiscus flower because it's a modded thing for Sims 3. Those are good for pregnant she-cats or like queens to be able to keep them calm or boost their, their mo mood, all of their moods, just the tiniest bit. So I think it'd be great if we had, if I could have more help with that kind of stuff and I would love to make a wiki and then love to like highlight wikis and then people could like add in their OCs um, and little pages for their OCs in a special area and then I could like highlight the OCs now and then. So let me know what you guys think about that. But that being said, we have some stray dogs and stray cats to poke at and a feast to hold and a warrior to name and apprentices to have. So let's move on now. All right. So that was Moss Leaf. She caught three fish. She actually caught the tragic clownfish that she gave to Briarstock and she caught the koi fish that she gave to lizard paw as well and all of the cats really seem to want to eat fish lately so a lot of them are into fish now let's go on to what lion star managed to catch he caught a cardinal he managed to get a bluebird so the uh, bluebird is actually rare i don't think i've ever actually seen the bluebird in sims 3 before so that's exciting plasma bug a cockroach i guess that would be like eating french fries or something for the cats an iguana he also managed to get a stag beetle uh, i think he would save the iguana and we'll give the iguana Iguana to Mossleaf because one of her favorite snacks is lizards. And so we'll give the Iguana to Mossleaf as a gift. And then he caught a beetle. Not really sure what we're going to do with that beetle. And he caught a rhinoceros beetle. Uh, I guess a rhinoceros beetle could be kind of good for if a cat had a cold. But since it's summer, we don't really need to worry about that. So that was him. Squirrely. Oh, she also caught a bluebird. All right. She doesn't even have any empty chip bags that we have to get rid of. But she is going to go down with Doge's. That's still happening to the two leg area. So keep your eyes out for that unless the game is going to throw something really kind of wonky at me with the whole stray dog and stray cat thing that we have over there. She got a box turtle, a Indian roofed turtle. She caught a beetle. So I guess this is kind of like the appetizer section of the prey pile where all these beetles are over here to kind of nibble on if you so wish. And then there's the spiny turtle, which is also rare. The trilobite beetle, which is rare. I don't really know if you can do anything with it though. I don't really have anything yet. So I think that squirrely being squirrely would we'll just kind of toss it in. And hey, if a cat wants to eat this, then power to them. If they're not really interested, then maybe we'll figure out some sort of medical thing we can do with it. And then Tommy! Tommy caught his little gecko. So we'll go ahead and put his little gecko right there. That's really awesome. He caught a gecko. Honeywish didn't catch anything because she was resting all day because she is an expecting queen. And then Briarstalk managed to catch a garter snake. He managed to get a pigeon. We have a squirrel. We have a crate snake. So quite the pile of awesomeness for this celebration that we're about to have. Were any of those rare? I don't think so. The pigeon, definitely not the pigeon. Um, yeah, and the shrew is just in common, so he still has some things. I'm going to actually have him give the squirrel and the shrew to Doge's because we can use their livers the or the, their bile to get rid of the fleas Mossleaf has. Doge's actually caught a few things. Pygmy tortoise, which is rare, so we can get rid of that. Now she doesn't have the empty chip bag curse, but she does still have the fact that she and Squirrelleap ate the two-leg kibble, so she will be going down with Squirrelleap pretty soon. She also caught a pigeon. Apparently, there's a lot of birds flying around right now. She has a feather that we can potentially give to Robin Kit. She would totally give a feather to Robin Kit. 
Who am I kidding? Oh, and she has a wom rat. Good. A garter snake. So there's that. Oak paw. Oak paw managed to catch a chinchilla. And I think we got rid of the empty chip bag that is a result of the chinchilla earlier. So I think he'd be very proud bringing the chinchilla over. I imagine it's a pretty big prey item. So he would be extremely proud about his work. He also caught an anole lizard, a stag beetle, which again, I guess these are kind of like like the appetizers that the cats can eat uh, and a red assassin beetle, which is very rare. And it also, so we can get rid of another chip bag. And it's also very dangerous because those are used to cure poison. All right, and lizard paw actually did quite a bit of hunting because he was looking for the feather, yay. So he can give a gift to Robin Kit. That'll be fantastic. And then we also have another beetle. Like I said, they're kind of just like french fries or the chips that you put on the side of a party, little appetizers. Uh, and also the beetles are one of the reasons that Moss Clan gets teased by Branch Clan for being beetle eaters. At least they don't have fish breath, but I think that actually Moss Clan is secretly envious of the fish breath because they like fish. And then Robin Kit quite, caught quite a lot, including a yellow python. Just about ready to give me a heart attack if I had caught her trying to catch that and she failed. It would have been a roll for a potentially venomous snake bite. She also caught a red assassin beetle also. That's uh, the potential to be very bad if the cats catch that and then they miss. And then there's this beetle and the stag beetle and she did catch a cardinal as well look at all of this prey wow one day of dedicated hunting and unfortunately red kit didn't really catch anything just a couple beetles so red kit he is pretty lazy he's gonna need some guidance but all right so we have the prey and I think we need to do something about those dogs. So I think Lion Star and Briarstock, they're our top warriors right now. Are they the closest? Yeah, and they're also the closest to this entire area. Are there any other cats nearby? Dogaze and Squirrely, but they're kind of playing and pouncing around. So I think that these two would have been talking and then they would have heard the barking or maybe caught a smell. So we're going to go here with Briarstock immediately. And we're gonna see what happens. Oh gosh, he's getting closer! <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! We've gotta chase this dog away! Hey! Hey! Are you trying to enter my area? What are you doing here, fancy pants dog? Excuse you? Are you trying to like pee on it or something? Oh, there he is! Okay! All right! Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, uh, I think it's just gonna be a straight-up fight. Here, we've got to get him away from this territory. All right, let's see how this fight turns out. Oh boy, what are you doing? This dog is like walking backwards into our clan territory. Now he's going forwards. You are a weirdo. Are we gonna just be able to scare you away? What are you doing? You are peeing on my stuff, you roots and McRude rude. Oh my gosh, who's that? Is that the dog again? Oh, the other stray dog is coming. Oh my goodness, Briarstock. Briarstock, don't leave us. Stay here, Briarstock. We've got it. What? Did the dog disappear? Oh, I think the dog disappeared. Okay, so it looks like that other stray dog managed to run, run off. He must have been just a curious dog, not one that really is aggressive. So he ran off, and then... What about the stray cat? So I guess they saved the stray cat in a way. Maybe they chased the dog off. Willow, what are you doing here? Why don't you go back home, my dear? And let's come see if they can come and introduce themselves to this stray cat. So is he going to disappear? And is that little dog going to come up? I feel like we need to have a fight with the tiny dog. Also, what do you guys think about using different generators for large dogs versus small dogs? Because I think that makes sense. Is he going to come this way? Or maybe because he's over there... He would say, oh, let's get out of here. Oh my goodness! <gasps> Look at this! The stray cat stuck around long enough to be able to be sniffed. Can we sniff him? Her? It? I've got to learn about you. All right, buddy. So we've got a stray cat, a new stray cat, kind of like Tommy, showing up over here. Let's see if this guy will stay around long enough that we get to meet him. Hoy there, Lionstar called out, his large chest heaving as he ran up to the strange cat. The dog had been quick to run as soon as the cats appeared, giving them no more than a half-confused glance over its shoulder and past its curly tail before disappearing down the dirt path towards the two-leg nest. Briarstock had dashed after it, hissing and spitting with fury, just in case the dog decided to take an interest in the cats after all. 
From the looks of it, though, the dog had simply been wandering along the dirt thunderpath, and perhaps following the strange cat, who did smell suspiciously of dog. Are you all right? Lionstar halted in front of the strange cat and drew in the scents deeply, narrowing his golden eyes as he studied them carefully. The strange cat smelled of distant thunder paths, fresh trampled flowers, and more than slightly of the odd kibble that two legs often put down for the dogs they kept in their nest. Lionstar's gaze flicked curiously over the cat, who seemed to be studying the large Moss Clan leader with equal curiosity and more than a little nervousness. Oh, well, this and that and, uh, yes, thanks for that. That dog had been trailing me for quite some time now. I thought he'd given up once I left his yard, but it seems he was, unfortunately, quite curious. The stranger meowed. His voice shifted oddly as he spoke, as though he was struggling to find the time to think of how he wanted to reply. But it was an oddly charming and friendly voice, though Lionstar was startled at the way he couldn't help but feel there was a whiff of something secretive about this new cat. Or perhaps that was just the dog kibble, crumbs of which were still stuck to the stranger's lips. I see, Lionstar meowed, tilting his head as he studied the new cat. He did not have a collar on, and while he smelled of two-leg territory, he didn't smell of two legs. He was a bit thin and had a small frame, but healthy muscles moved under clean fur, and his eyes were bright. A smaller cat wasn't at total disadvantage, either. Even if he may not have the brute strength, he could potentially have speed, and his fur was grey and dappled with streaks of white and black, excellent for hunting from the shadows of the forest. Lionstar blinked as he caught himself studying the strange cat as though he were a recruit for the clan, and felt a flush of embarrassment. While Moss Clan was in desperate need of new warriors, that didn't mean he had to snap up the first cat that walked by. But still. With a sigh, Lionstar shook his head and eyed the new cat over again, feeling uncomfortably caught between choices. No need to make a decision just yet, though. There had to be a way to learn a bit more about this stranger before deciding if he was a fit for the clan. I am Lionstar of Moss Clan, whose territory you are in right now. Lionstar meowed finally, his voice firm but with a note of friendliness. And you are? Oh, just wandering by. The strange cat meowed back, a nervous smile on his face as he glanced over Lionstar's imposing size once again. But, uh, if you'd like to know, I am Bartram. Bartram, Lionstar replied with a firm nod. You happen to arrive just as we are preparing for a special ceremony. We have quite a bit of prey. Perhaps you'd care to join us? Alright everyone, so welcome to Bartram! He is another stray cat who has wandered by Moss Clan. I am not sure, excuse me Squirrely, your, your like, butt is literally right there Squirrely, oh my goodness. I'm not sure if Bartram is going to stick around. I'm not sure if he is a cat that we would want to stick around. We'll look over his traits in just a second here. What the heck was that? Oh, it's a goldfish. I was like, what is that giant thing in the background there? I'm not sure if we would want to keep him here, but Lionstar is quite quite interested in what this new cat is up to and what he's like. He has very clearly been eating some dog food, aka some dog kibble, at the Two Leg Place and the invitation for some fresh prey, and look how much fresh prey there is, and look at Moss Leaf. She's just perched over like protecting all of the prey like a very proud mama because she's like, yes, we're going to be celebrating. Oh, and I need to get Doge's to fix, um, to work on her fleas actually now that I remember it. But we do have quite the interesting guest for the big event. Look at Moss Leaf. She's like, I wonder who that is. My ears don't work anymore, but I really wish I could understand what's happening here. But there is, uh, th yeah, this is going to be very interesting, actually. I'm quite fascinated by this new guy, as you can tell. But yeah, there is another new cat in the clan, and I don't know if we'll keep him. His name is Bartram, and Bartram actually has a very specific meaning. I picked that out to go along with the traits that he rolled. So just so you guys know, we are, I, installed a mod so we'll be running into a lot more stray dogs and stray cats the dogs if we manage to reach them we probably have to at least try being aggressive to them probably sniffing them and then engaging in some hissing and then seeing if they decide to cower and run away from us or if they decide to attack us and then we'll have to get in fights with the dogs uh, if we run into enough like a dog often enough we may be able to either 
come up with a way like if it always cowers we would be like oh that's just the coward dog no need to worry about it we don't really have to stress over it oh and look at this robin kit's playing with squirrel ape that's so cute oh my goodness and then lion star what do you want to do sniff robin kit sniff honey wish best friends with oak paw and honey wish okay we'll handle that and he also wants to get something to eat he's quite hungry tommy just came over and ate one of the snakes by the way but anyway the stray cats so what i'm going to start doing for these stray cats is making it so that i roll to see if they're going to be friendly hostile or just kind of neutral and bartram rolled to be friendly and then i also roll for their traits and in game he rolled genius proud and independent and personality wise he rolled courageous seated and jealous and I thought that was very interesting so he may be a bit more of a challenging cat we have to kind of see how his role would turn out like what he would think about everything what he thinks about clan life maybe he's not meant to be a clan cat it seems that he's actually been sneaking some dog food but we're going to give him a chance to sort of settle in and get to meet with everybody and poor oak paw we'll have to just hope oh oak paw's being <laughs> Everyone wants to share tongues with Oakpa. Sniff Sand Kit, Sniff Minnow Kit, all of the cats at the perhaps because Honeywish is about to like have her kits any minute. It seems like all of the cats of the clan have started to think about the kits over at Branch Clan. So I guess kits are kind of on the mind because it is the celebratory mood. Uh, but yeah, Bartram. So Bartram here. He wants to sniff Robin Kit, and I think he may have just come over for the free food, but I have a feeling he's going to have seen Robin Kit, who really is supposed to be Robin Paw. She is quite old for a kit. She should be an apprentice by now, and hopefully before the end of the night is over, she will become one. But I think he will have just seen Robin Kit from across the clearing and just be completely fascinated and want to know about this new cat. So... I think that's what Bartram is, is kind of thinking right now. He's going, hello, who is this? How are you? You're quite fascinating. So I think that Robin Kit has caught his eye and we'll have to see where that goes. But yeah, just so you guys know, because we will be running into so many more strays. Handling, yeah, look at that. He's like, ooh, this is interesting. Okay, who is he? Now he wants to sniff everybody. Lizard Paw, Lion Star. Makes sense to sniff Lion Star. <coughs> Oh, pardon me. I guess Bartram has some of the dog fur on him making me sneeze. Red Kit, what are you doing? He's just going to take a nap, uh, which is totally fine. And he wants to be good friends with his mom and catch a bird. Lion Star, you go ahead. No, get over here and eat something, you silly goose. Just come eat this turtle. I don't know what Lion Star's favorite food is just yet. If you guys can pick a prey item. Looks like Honey Wish is snacking on a beetle. Maybe she's just kind of feeling like beetle snacks right now. Uh, but yeah, for Bartram, like I said, with the stray cats, we're going to start running into a lot more of them. And because we haven't had too many fights and drama i will start rolling to see if they're going to be uh the meeting is going to go nice or if it's going to go aggressive and then i'm going to be rolling to see their traits because not every cat is meant to be a clan cat and we may have some groups of cats so we'll start going around who aren't really a clan and they're just kind of a loose group of cats they may get in fights with our clan so if Bartram is going to be that kind of personality and what he is going to do with his genius proud independent jealous self that remains to be seen. For now, I think he would go ahead and probably socialize quite a bit with uh, Robin Kit. And then hopefully Robin Kit will be able to get some food in just a second. And then let's go ahead and just we'll keep an eye on what Bartram's going to do today. But otherwise, it's time to kind of celebrate what Oakpaw wants to do as well. So Oakpaw, everybody wants to groom him. We're going to give him a little bit of a break because tonight is basically Oak Paw's night. He is going to be made a warrior before hopefully the day is over. My gosh, he's just like peeing right in front of him. But yeah, interesting to note that all of the cats are thinking, they're thinking about Sea Whisper. They're thinking about the kits. They're thinking about the queens. He's thinking about Wild Paw too, which is interesting. No, Lizard Paw, how did you get, how did you get fleas? Dogeys, 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 don't pounce on Red Kit. Dogeys, I need your help. Red Kit, what are you doing over here? He wants to become best friends with Robin Kit, Lion Star, Moss Leaf, Sniff Squirrel Leap. Okay, we'll have you go off and sniff Squirrel Leap then. Because I need to get you out of the way for a second, Red Kit. And he will be Red Paw, hopefully very soon. Though who will be his mentor is another question. And then also Briarstock is thinking so much about the kits from Branch Clan too, which sort of made me feel a little sad. We're gonna have Dogeys come over. She's going to give a good grooming to uh, Moss Leaf so we can get rid of those fleas. And then go around. Oh, even Moonpaw. Everybody is thinking about all of the kits in the other clan. Oh, I guess they're excited for the kits. Honey wish pressure's on. Everybody wants you to, and she still wants to become friends with everyone. Everybody wants to think about your kits. No pressure, Honeywish. 
Wow, sniff lizard paw. There we go. So I'm just getting rid of the okay briar stock. This isn't necessary briar stock. That's right. Okay, you need to you need to cool it. He's just being weird. All right, sniff glow kit, uh, sniff coral kit. I'm just getting rid of those because we kind of make note of them and then move on. Anything with honey wish? Quail eye. Wow, everybody is just sniff sea whisper. So they're getting curious and it is new moon, but at the next full moon, we will have a gathering as long as the drama doesn't ramp itself up too much. But all right, I'm, I'm controlling them too much. I'm pausing too much. Sorry about that, you guys. So we're going to kind of leave everybody, leave everybody to do what they wish. And it seems that Oak Paw maybe wants to clear his head for a minute and he's off to go and try to do some hunting and catch a beetle. And Bartram, who we might name Barty for short. Uh, oh, Moss Leaf! Moss Leaf is not letting this go unobserved. She is keeping a very close eye on this unexpected guest and her daughter uh, here at, at the little event that they're having because it is a celebration, so the cat should be sharing tongues. They already did a whole bunch of hunting, but they'll be sharing tongues. She wants to sniff him. She's curious about him, wants to make sure, like, who are you and why are you talking to my daughter? Why are you in my, my clan? What's going on here? All right, Dogaze, get over here. We've got to tackle these fleas before they start spreading. Moss Leaf, that's really funny that she perched right in front of them. Like she's going to keep an eye on this situation. And then Robin Kit wants to actually sniff Moss Leaf uh, and also take a nap. Why don't we send her over here to have like a stag beetle just to have a bit of a snack? Dogaze, come over here and give a good grooming to Moss Leaf. And we're going to go ahead. It's just kind of like a party. Just kind of imagine like happy party, the sound of crickets and cicadas in the background as the cats are sharing tongues and have plenty to eat and are just sort of enjoying themselves. Come on, Moss Leaf, stop taking forever. We're getting rid of these fleas. Bartram's coming over. Apparently he's tired from his day of sneaking into backyards and eating dog food. Uh, and it looks like Lizard Paw is kind of visiting with everyone. It's very laid back right now. We're just going to kind of let the cats hang out together. Unwind. We've already had some unexpected events happen after all. All right, Dogaze, we're going to go ahead and get rid of your warm rat. So we're going to do that. Oh, don't you dare turn your sun down. What? What? I am so flustered with you right now, Lion Star. He, he's not really that interested in Red Kit right now, and I think that's actually going to just keep an eye on that. The fact that Red Kit doesn't seem to measure up in his father's eyes to Oak Paw, and the fact that Red Kit's a little lazy, and the fact that, like, Red Kit is sort of, he's sort of like the middle child nobody really is paying attention to. Uh, well, we do have we do have a desire to be paid attention to somewhere buried in here. Hang on a second. There's Red Kit. All right, we'll leave Honey Wish alone. So you come over here and you socialize with your son, sir. I'm a little bit frustrated with you for that. So we're going to have him interact because that's what Red Kit really wants his dad's attention and affection. So just keep an eye on that, you guys. Just kind of noting that. All right. But there goes the Wom Rat. I did clear the Wom Rat already, didn't I? Yep. So that means we can get rid of these fleas. So Moss Leaf is now relieved of her fleas, which is quite a good thing. Who the heck is Kobe? That's one of the stray cats, so we'll just ignore that. Uh, Red Kit, Oak Paw. So sniff Red Kit, sniff Oak Paw. What else do you want to do? Master the hunting skill. <laughs> Maybe she wants to become a hunter. That makes sense, actually, that Moss Leaf is sort of feeling like she wants to become a better hunter with fish, if nothing else. So maybe we'll have to go see if those dogs are invading the lake nearby. And if they are, chase them away because Moss Leaf would want to be able to show off that she can also do some hunting. I'll say, where's Lizard Paw? Because Lizard Paw is usually close by. Aha, and he's got those fleas. Lizard Paw. Why don't you come over? We need to get rid of those fleas. Who had the wom rats? Was it Briarstock? Okay, Briarstock, and he wants to sniff Wildpaw again, and Minnow Kit. These are Branch Clan cats, and Stonepaw's also a Branch Clan cat. Okay, Briarstock, I get that you're getting curious about the Branch Clan cats, but still. And I did throw out the honey, by the way. That happened last episode, actually, as I threw out all the bad honey that, that uh, bless his heart, Silverfang brought. Poor Silverfang. It was all horrifying quality, so we couldn't keep it. But he does have a hairball, so I wonder if Moss Leaf is going to notice the hairball that Briarstock has and be willing to go and get some honey from. Because uh, Briarstock needs to come over and he's going to socialize because he's going to drop off the the items that he has to Dogaze. Otter Slip is... Crow Feather is in the other clan, so is Misty Bond. Briarstock, oh, I think he really wants to go and, and we'll probably pull a patrol pretty soon to be able to see what's going on down there. But I think Moss Leaf would have just noticed that Briarstock has a bit of a, a hairball issue going on. Is that Red Kit? Yeah, that is Red Kit. 
All right, so we'll have her, hang on. I'm gonna have her sniff red kit. Oops, and then she's gonna go and work with the spirit of the land. She's gonna go see if she can actually find, just really quickly, a flower and go collect some honey with the spirit of the land and then hopefully be able to get some honey so Briarstalk can have it and get rid of that hairball. Or at the very least, just like have it on him. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna do the trade. I like trying to make the cats who are giving an item to the medicine cat interact with the medicine cat in some way and trade. Oh, and then she also wanted to sniff him anyway, didn't she? Look at that. It was all, all quite useful. And Moss Leaf, did you sniff your son? Hey, Red Kit, hold still for a second. Your mom wants to sniff you. I see the sniff sniff. I want to be, I want to see the sniff sniff. I, okay, catch a bird. Sniff branch stock. <laughs> what is with all of this? Sniff Bartram. That is, that is a little bit more reasonable. Sniffing of Bartram. So we'll let Bartram stay for a minute. And Tommy is actually also not an official member of Moss Clan. But we'll have to see if that may change with the warrior ceremony, won't we? And we'll have to see if that's what Tommy wants too. So that is a question. All right, sniff oak paw, sniff lizard paw, sniff moss leaf, sniff Tommy. Tommy is sleeping. Dogaze, where's lizard paw? Lizard paw, we need to sniff sniff you. Don't groom your brother. Ah, oh, you gave him place. <laughs> I only have two vials worth of things. Oh, okay, both of you stay right there for a minute. Both of you stay. Okay, you go ahead and sniff each other. Dogaze is going to have to come and get rid of both of your fleas now. Naughty kitties. All right, lizard paw, you are the source of the fleas, so we'll go ahead and sniff you first. She can't groom either of them just yet because she doesn't have that relationship. Stay there, oak paw. All right, we want you looking good. I feel like I feel like oak paw stay. I feel like Dogaze would come over and she would try to get rid of their fleas really quickly because she would be like, "Come on, oak paw, you're going. You're about to have your warrior ceremony. You got to be looking good." And we will address the fact that lizard paw probably won't be having his warrior cat ceremony soon. Um, and the fact that, how does he feel about that when his brother is? Okay, good thing she can't get fleas. Alright, got rid of this shrew. And got rid of those fleas. Sniff Robin Kit. And then everybody w wants to know what happened to Silver Fang. And then become best friends with Honey Wish. There we go. Sorry if it's going a bit slow tonight. There's just, I didn't expect a new cat. And then it's also just kind of one of those nights where we slow down and try to watch all of the relationships. And see which cats do what. Alright, Moss Leaf, where'd you go? Mossy, if you need to come up, you need to get something to eat. Be best friends with Oak Paw. Master the hunting skill. I'm going to have her come over. Um, is there a lizard? She does love lizards. Here's a gecko. She'll eat Tommy's gecko. Uh, actually, yeah, she'll eat Tommy's gecko because Lion Star still hasn't given her the gift of the iguana that he caught for her. So come on, Mossy, if we're going to have you go collect some honey. Even though by the time you do it, like, Briarstalk's already fine. <laughs> Firestock, you need some food. Get over here. I think he's a little bit like distractible. So I'm going to have him come over. Hopefully nobody else. He'll have a cardinal. Hopefully nobody else will get fleas because then we'll have to use the chinchilla for fleas instead of food. I feel like Oakpaw would have been very proud about his chinchilla. But Oakpaw is also the kind of cat who wouldn't eat the nicest food. He would kind of just leave things be. All right. Good celebration. A lot of the cats are getting kind of tired. We'll have Mossleaf go and collect some honey really quickly. I'll have her scratch a little bit at the scratching post if need be too. All right, Oak Paw, what do you want to do? Oh, I didn't mean to get rid of the Wild Paw Sniff. I'm sorry, you guys. I can hear the fury. All right, is Robin Kit awake? Everybody's falling asleep. <laughs> Everybody's falling asleep. Is Lion Star awake? Okay, Lion Star is over here. I'm going to wake him up because I think actually now would be a good time for him and Oak Paw to talk because something special is going to happen. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. I just want to let you guys know that yes, something special is going to happen when Oak Paw becomes a warrior. So that's um, that's planned. That, there's something There's something that's going to happen. So that'll be really, that'll be really interesting. So hang in there for that. And then Moss Leaf, are you done? All right, I'm trying to control too many cats again. That's what I'm doing. I get overexcited and I go, oh, I should do this. Oh, I should do this. And the next thing you know, like we never get anything done because I'm so busy controlling the cats. I think Squirrely would wake up. Uh, do we have any squirrels? No squirrels, but she probably would appreciate a good garter snake. And Mossley, if you go ahead, do a little bit of scratching. That's probably enough just to get her mood up a little bit. And let's see if we can find ourselves a flower. Is there a wildflower handy? Because I could have sworn I saw one earlier. There's a couple. Oh, look at this, Willow. You already knew what we're up to. Because Willow's already hanging out over by the wildflower. Good for you, Willow. Good for you. 
but we're gonna have her and Mossleaf interact for just a moment. Because Mossleaf's just sort of in this mood to collect lots of things and she's already done a lot of hunting and she wants to do more hunting. She wants to nuzzle with Lizardpaw. She's feeling good that Lizardpaw is back. She's feeling pretty awesome. happy about that. We'll have her chit chat with Lizardpaw. Alright, good. So, and then we'll have Mossleaf mark. And she's probably, Mossleaf is probably very happy the Spirit of the Land is back. And like I keep hinting, there's a lot of things that are starting to build up. So let's just say that, um... Let's just say that the fact that Mossleaf and the Spirit of the Land have reunited, that will have a role in the future too. Alright, so enough of this. We're having a very gentle night, but we're going to go ahead and Mossleaf is going to collect that. And that's a flower. And the flower being collected is going to be used in trade. Dun dun dun! In trade for being able to we're gonna smoke the box feed the bees and harvest the honey to get some honey so i'm gonna say that's what moss leaf is doing over here she's beginning to learn how to communicate with the spirit of the land and i'm gonna say that lizard paw like noticed that the spirit of the land was doing something and woke up and so he's coming to see what the spirit of the land is up to because he's very 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 deeply attuned to her now so there's that and yes, a lot of there's a lot of tiny baby plots that will turn into big plots as time goes on. So I don't want to give anything away. I just want to reassure you guys. I haven't forgotten about the fact that we need to figure out what to do with the spirits of the land. I haven't forgotten about the fact that Lizardpaw... Get back over here, Mossleaf! That Lizardpaw has some special abilities as well. And we need to see those on display. And I haven't forgotten about the fact that Squirrelape and Dogays earned themselves a trip to the Two Lake Territory because of the eating of the kibble that they did. All right, Bartram. I wonder if you're going to be a good cat, a bad cat. I wonder what the jealous trait for Bartram is going to give us. All right, and the honey is being harvested. About time. There we go. All right. So Mossleaf basically went into the forest. Oh no, we didn't have the thing where she wanted to like nuzzle with uh, her son anymore. But she went into the forest and she noticed that uh, she looked for a honeycomb to be able to bring back to camp. All right, and no, I don't want you to groom your mom actually, but he does want to nuzzle with her. He is best friends actually with Mossleaf and actually super close to Robin Kit. Not so close to his brother anymore. Not so close to... Um, to Oakpaw, which is kind of sad. And Oakpaw's about to have his name changed. That's so exciting. Lizardpaw, you look like you've got a mouthful of your mom's fur. That's hilarious. That's really hilarious. All right. Well, the cats are pretty rusted. We have just got some honey. These two are positively interacting and they both are in the mood to go scratch a tree together. So maybe they'll, they'll kind of chit chat about that. I think Mossleaf might say something and they'll both head off to scratch scratching post and trees. Mossleaf just collected a bunch of honey and beeswax. That's a lot. Oh my gosh. Can I drag the whole pile? No, I want everything. I want all of it. Give it all up, Willow. There we go. Drag it all into Mossleaf's inventory. Is it what quality? And it's all horrifying. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's so awful. All right, and we'll, we'll go ahead and feed the bees. Maybe you have to feed them to make it not so horrifying. But I'm gonna say that means you can't use any of the honey. So we're just gonna get rid of all the honey because horrifying honey is just gonna make everyone sick. But at least there's a bit of beeswax that's also horrifying. So we'll just have to get rid of it. So it's rotten. It's full of mud, full of twigs. It was a good attempt, at least moss leaf. So there we go. We'll have to remember to take care of that. And then, oh, I feel like I was just about to remember something important for Mossleaf. And, oh, calm down, Willow. You're a spirit of the land. You shouldn't get stung by too many, too many of those bees. All right, so Willow's miserable because she just got stung. But yeah, oh, dang it. I forgot something important that I was going to tell you guys about Mossleaf and all the things she can do and honey. Oh, yeah, the bees. So someone suggested, and I really love this idea, that when... A cat who is not the spirit of the land tries to collect honeycombs or like from the beehive. They have to use a flower uh, because they're saying that they're following the bees from the flower. But then we roll a random generator to see if the cat got stung or not. And if they get stung, there's a slight chance they could have a severe allergic reaction, but a definite chance that they would be uncomfortable and kind of unhappy and not able to hunt or focus for the day, um, depending on where they got stung. And I really like that idea. So if the cat is not a spirit of the land and can't work with the spirit, 
part of the land to be able to have their help in harvesting a beehive, then the cat runs the risk of like angering the bees and getting stung. So I'm going to say there's a 50% chance of being able to successfully harvest without getting stung and a 50% chance that you're going to get stung the badunkers out of you if you're like even a medicine cat. A medicine cat, like when Silver Fang tried to harvest the honey, any other cat who is not a forest land cat has a big chance of being stung when collecting honey. So we're going to put that out there because then that means that other clans, like the third clan, the fourth clan, and branch clan, could also have honey hives. Like I think I'm going to put honey hives in the forest that are kind of around the area so that they know like, oh, there's usually bees here or usually bees over here or bees over here. So you can reliably go and you can collect some honey from them. But there's always a risk that they're going to get stung. And I think it makes sense that the only cat who wouldn't get stung would be the forest spirit cat because they're so attuned with the forest except when the forest spirit herself is not attuned with them so there's that all right sorry oh geez those are really painful sounding screams there you go easy willow so sorry about that hope you have a better day here why don't you go ahead and why don't you why don't you just work on another another one of your books then uh i'm gonna let her work on another one of the books maybe the the bees in the darkness or something like that all right, so moss leaf is good. All right, so I think that covers how all of the cats are doing. Oh, and Briarstock is grooming Oak Paw. Awesome. And Lion Star wants to present to give to Red Kit. Everybody wants to give Red Kit feathers. <laughs> That's just adorable. And I think we're good here then. So I think, I know it's been a little bit of a short day, but I think we're going to call it a day today because we do have the exciting event of Bartram being added and the cats did have their party. They had their celebration where they got to eat a whole bunch of the prey and they did a big giant hunt, a big giant green leaf hunt. And then next time we're going to go ahead and begin with the warrior ceremony. And Oakpaw is actually going to have something happen to him after his warrior cat ceremony. So I'm pretty excited for that. And we're also going to have kind of a controversial name given to him so i hope you guys can hang in there the name that i picked out i really tried to resist for a long time <sighs> and let's just say i tried every other combination of oak and everything afterward i would love to hear your guys suggestions for oak and what you think he should be named I know what I am going to name him. It's going to be very controversial. I'm not sure if some of you guys might be mad. Some of you guys would understand, but it's going to be very interesting. So I know what name I'm going to give him and we'll have to have our apprentices meet into apprentices and we'll have to see what Bartram and Tommy think about that event because Tommy has been here for so long. You think he wants to live here in the clan or you think that his lack of hunting skill and his lack of really any other kind of skill would mean he wouldn't be a good fit? How far is Lion Star going to go to make the clan expand when like he's just taking in strays and like he, half the cats in the clan can't hunt and he needs some real warriors they're not an intimidating clan so what happens if they start running into more stray dogs or stray cats who roll to be aggressive like what are we going to do if he doesn't have a strong team of warriors right now it's really just him and Briarstock and Oakpaw and three cats is not enough to defend all of the forests that they want to claim as their own are are they going to start losing territory if branch clan decided to like go after the contested zone uh we're gonna do the the um the buzzing in the darkness or the buzzing in the shadows because that was the the bees that just attacked willows willow that that was for her book but yeah if we start running into other clans, if we start running into more aggressive cats, if Branch Clan decides that they want the contested territory, do you really think that these poor three cats right here are enough to be able to defend all that? I mean, they're the only warriors in the clan right now. And if they aren't, just how far should Lionstar go? What does it mean? Do you just need to be a cat with like four paws and the ability to bite something to be called a warrior of Moss Clan? Or is there something more important, something about the heart of the clan that you need to have too? So we'll answer those questions and we will celebrate with, or with <laughs> I almost said wild paws, with Oak Paws, warrior name next time. And I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.